Hi everyone. Welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa. I am The Crafty Author and welcome to my messy quilting room today. Uh, today we are going to be making a t-shirt pillow. That's right, you heard me. A t-shirt pillow. I'm going to show you how to make an easy envelope style t-shirt pillow and uh, pillow cover, pillow cover, um, to go along with the t-shirt quilt that I just made. We had one left over, and so that is what we have decided to do. So this is cut at 15 inches square. I have my batting that I cut 15 inches square. This piece of t-shirt is backed with stabilizer. I don't know why I have two pieces of batting on my t-shirt there. So it's a good thing that I noticed that. The stabilizer that I am working with is called Pellon Apparel Interfacing Luxury Fusibles. It is Sure Taylor. I don't know if I can read. There we go. Sure, Taylor. It's 950F. If you are interested in this, um, that's what it is. It is an iron-on stabilizer. It worked out great for the t-shirt quilt, so highly recommend it. It was my first time using that, and um, it's a great product. So, I have my 15-inch t-shirt and batting ready to go, and... I have my two backing squares. So this is two separate pieces of fabric, but they are the same, cut at 18 inches. So both of these squares are 18 inches square. And we're gonna get started. Okay, so this next part is purely optional, but I like to do it because I like a more finished edge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fabric, I'm just gonna fold it down probably, I don't know, about half an inch maybe. And it doesn't have to be real precise. It's, I'm just guessing. And then I'm going to fold it again and press it. And I'm just doing this because I like to have a nice clean edge. And since this isn't a gift, um, I want this to look nicer than if I was making it for myself. Okay. I will do the same thing here on this one. So again, just about a half, and then just press it. And then I'm gonna fold it again. Okay. And now I'm gonna go back to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch it right down here along this edge, right along the edge on both of these, right here. All right, so I am going to start laying out my pillow here. I have gone and sewn my edges on both of these. And now I'm gonna start putting it together. So what I do is I just take right sides facing each other. So I'm just gonna lay this one probably about halfway down on here. So, and, and I'm just eyeballing it. You could actually use the X as a, as that meeting point, I guess, if you want to. So maybe we'll do that. And I'm gonna scoot this over just a tad just to make sure that my sides are, that they look fairly even here. We're gonna end up sewing them, so it's not gonna really matter that much. And then we're going to be putting 
these are going to overlap. So we're going to overlap them like so. So you should have this one down. Your bottom piece should be up with your design. Your other design should be facing down and then you should have another design on top. You're gonna put this one up a little bit higher and then we are going to pin it. I am going to do this from the back side because we are going to be sewing it from the back side. I just flipped that open, just flipped it with my hand. So just make sure that your everything looks good still, okay? This way, it'll just make it easier so that I can pull the pins out as I sew. I don't wanna be dealing with from the other side. It's a little bit harder to do it that way, in my opinion, so. All right, so now it should look like this on your back side. You wanna make sure that everything looks nice and nice and flat, that you don't have things that are flipping up and, and that sort of thing. So just make sure it looks good. Flip it back over and stitch along that line that you stitched around originally on your shirt. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we can do now that we're done. We can use a ruler and the rotary cutter to cut this, or we can use pinking shears, or you can just use scissors. So whatever is easiest for you. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use just my rotary cutter. Um, and I'm just gonna cut off the excess fabric that's around here. And I'm gonna use this as my guide. I'm gonna use my uh, batting. Flip it around. And then we will reveal the moment of truth. So, I'm going to want to cut the edges, um, and the reason that we're going to cut these edges is because we want to reduce the bulk that we have here. So, let's go ahead and do that right away. I'm just going to snip these corners. You don't want to snip into your, your um, stitching, but you want to get real close to it and cut the corners off so that when we go to turn this, the corners will poke out really well and it won't be so bulky. And here's the moment of truth. I'm gonna flip this inside out. Now this cover is washable, so this can go in the washing machine. Now I'm just gonna stick my hand in here and really work these corners out. I don't have my chopstick nearby, so I'm just gonna have to use my fingernail, which will work just fine. It's gonna take a little bit longer to poke it out. <laughs> okay. Um, 
looks good and that one looks good and oh my goodness we're looking pretty awesome here okay so what we have on the front this is what it looks like on the back I have a pillow here I'm not certain that it's gonna fit it so we're gonna give it a try I think it might Fingers crossed that it will, because that would be great. Then I don't have to go buy a pillow. This is a 14 inch pillow. This is what I'm using. It's Polyfill Basic 14 inch pillow. It came in a two pack. I got this at Joann's um, a long time ago, and I know that they still sell them. So. And I think we're actually going to get lucky, and I think this is going to fit in this pillow. So, yay! And guess what? It does. It fits into the corner of the case. Oh my gosh! You guys, this is so cool. So, 15 inches is what this main t-shirt fabric was cut at and the um squares the backing here 18 inches two of those of 18 inches we sewed a little bit here so we sewed i guess a total of probably an inch and this is what we have and it fits really nicely it's not so snug that, um, you know how sometimes you can get pillows that are so snug that you feel like you're going to tear your covers? It's not like that. There's, there, it's actually really nice. It's like a perfect fit. So 14 inch pillow fits in here and, um, backside, front side, and now you have a washable, uh, a removable washable envelope pillow cover. Yay! It's done, right? I'm so excited. So here is our finished product made from a t-shirt. The backing. Uh, we made this envelope pillow cover. I'm so excited to match the quilt. Ta-da! Yeah. This is really cool. So anyway, that is it. I am exhausted. This project has kicked my butt. <laughs> anyway, um, if you would like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it was really cool. And if you would like to share it, that'd be great too because sharing is caring. Please don't forget to give uh, that little bell a little click so that you can subscribe and you will get notified each and every time I upload awesome new videos like this one. And keep on crafting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.